solar system. They're caused by enormous explosions called solar flares. Inside the sun, there are huge currents of gas, and as they move, they generate magnetic fields that rise up and loop over the surface of the sun. When these massive loops break, they explode. And the resulting explosions can reach up to tens and even hundreds of thousands of kilometers high. The amount of energy that's released in a solar flare is beyond human comprehension. You could take all of the combined nuclear weapons on the entire planet, and a single solar flare would blow those out of the water. The power of that explosion can cause the sun to shudder. As the magnetic loops break and explode, billions of tons of hot gas come crashing into the surface, causing a sunquake. That slams into the surface of the sun and can cause the sun's surface to ripple. And that's similar to an earthquake on the Earth, except, of course, on the sun, this is a much larger and more violent event. In 1998, Scientists spotted a small solar flare that triggered a sunquake that would have measured an 11.3 on the Richter scale. That's almost 100 times more powerful than the largest earthquake ever recorded. A similar thing happens on a magnetar. But what is a magnetar? They're neutron stars. Neutron stars are the mass of a normal star compressed into something the size of a small city, say six miles or so across. Magnetars are the most extreme of these objects. These things are extreme in every sense of the word. They're the densest objects in the universe. They have the highest gravity on their surface. They can be spinning incredibly rapidly, sometimes thousands of times per second. They also can have incredibly intense magnetic fields. These stars are so dense that just a teaspoon of material from one of them would weigh as much as all the cars and trucks on Earth. Neutron stars do have a, a solid crust. Now, admittedly, this is a crust of pure neutronium, neutrons slammed together, but it does have the properties of a solid. The crust of the magnetar is like a giant crystal, and it's under huge stresses from this tremendous magnetic field. And that stress builds up, and the crust suddenly cracks. The crust might only move a millimeter, but because magnetars are such massive objects, the amount of energy released is titanic. The release of energy when you have a crack on the surface of a neutron star is far vaster than any kind of earthquake you could ever imagine on the surface of the Earth. It's beyond comprehension. The most powerful earthquake ever measured on Earth was roughly a magnitude 9. A magnetar flare is generated by a seismic event that has a measurement of roughly Richter 32. 32. It is a million, million times the energy released in the most powerful earthquake ever recorded on the Earth. A magnitude 32 earthquake would literally turn the crust of the Earth inside out. In 2004, scientists detected one of these quakes on a magnetar 50,000 light years away. So much energy was released by the quake, it sent out a pulse of hot energy gamma rays that actually tampered with Earth's magnetic field. Its crust must have slipped literally this much. Just that much. This object was halfway across the galaxy. And this explosion was violent enough to literally compress the Earth's magnetic field. Luckily, that's all it did. But given that, do magnetize.